We are calling on democratic leadership to show leadership in this moment by expanding the language of the resolution to include anti-Muslim bias, anti-black racism, and xenophobia. This Congress needs new, needs new faces and voices. Ilhan Omar is a dynamic, pioneer, courageous voice that has been much needed in the Congress. We need to support her. We need to show her that we love her and the country needs voices like her. She represents her district proudly and that voice needs to be amplified. She should not be the exception in Congress. Other members of Congress should have the courage and support the rights for the Palestinians and they should not attempt to silence her or sideline her. And this is a fight we must fight together, so that's why we are here together today. That's why any resolution brought by Pelosi and the Democratic leadership must address not only anti-Semitism, but Islamophobia, anti-black racism, and xenophobia as well. This is how we remedy the Chilul Hashem, the desecration of God's name, by standing together in praise of Representative Omar for her courage, her honesty, her truth-telling, her bravery, to stand up against those that insist Palestinians are not deserving of human rights, that we must critique the Israeli government as it practices apartheid. To those in power, denouncing Representative Omar, calling her a terrorist, threatening her, defaming her, you do not have a vision for a safe Jewish future. To those using this resolution to tear down the leadership of strong women of color, you do not have a vision for a safe Jewish future. The creation of this resolution reveals the outrageous double standard and clear moral hypocrisy happening in Congress today around the conversation of anti-Semitism.